Good morning, everyone. Uh, as promised, today is going to be questions, uh, answers to a lot of questions you all have. So I hope you have your coffee. I've got mine. Uh, I can get long-winded, but then again, it could be a short one. It all depends on uh, how I respond to all the questions that so far I have received. Uh, so, so let's get started. First, let me get a cup, drink, cup of coffee here. And uh, let's proceed. All right. Uh, a lot of people want to know about the boats I'm on. Uh, they want to know uh, crew changes, uh, my schedule, uh, my recipes, and so forth. So I'm going to try and answer as many questions as I can remember. Uh, so, yes, I know I should have wrote them all down, but I didn't. But I might be old, but sometimes my memory works. No, so, okay, so. Uh, time on the boat. Now, so, uh, usually the minimum time is 28 days. Now, so, we, each time on the boat is called hitches. So, there's some people, uh, some people even like me, that like to ride extra hitches at a time. It all depends on the boat, the captain, and so forth. Uh, on this last boat, for example... I had planned on being on that boat for two hitches, which is 56 days. Now, so each each time is 28. No, so, uh, but the uh, we got a new captain on there, and uh, he wanted to bring his uh, cook that had been with him for seven years. So I finished out my hitch. She came on board. No, so but normally I would have stayed on on the boat on the boat there. For uh, like I said, a total of fifty-six day, four weeks. Uh, they're four weeks. So uh, during crew changes, not everybody that you get on the boat with is going to uh, get off the boat at the same time as you. This company I work for, uh, all of us chefs, cooks, uh, we don't uh, have assigned boats it's unless we've been with a captain for a long, long time. I've only been out here three and a half, four years, so I haven't really established being out with a, a certain captain uh, for a long time, uh, and or it's requested. I haven't been with this company that long, so I haven't established, uh, again, to be with a certain captain. And most of the captains that's with this company, they're called trip captains. They work for other companies, but they want to make extra money, so they come to this company and they'll they'll ride uh, one boat that I had been on. Uh, I went through seven captains in three weeks because they only ride maybe three or four days, or they might ride a week. No, so and they have to go back to their own, or they just only wanted to ride that certain amount of time. Uh, but like I said, you don't ride with everybody the same time. Now, on this boat here, I rode with uh, one of the guys on another boat, but I was only on that boat for four days, and that was last year. And uh, he remembered me, but unfortunately, I was sad. I, don't, I didn't remember him. I go through a lot of boats, so it's hard to remember every one of these guys. But once we started talking, then I said, oh, yeah, now I remember you. Nice. And uh, he's one of the sweetest guys on the boats as well. But, um, let's see, uh, let, let me start with how many people are on the boats. Now, so it all depends on the boat and the boat size. Uh, this boat here, there was a total of 10 people. I'll start from the top and describe everybody's job. Uh, starting from the wheelhouse, there's the captain. Of course, he is the high captain. He makes the ultimate decisions of the boat. I report to him. No, so, and he, uh, again, like I said, he makes the ultimate decisions. If you have an issue, you go to him and so forth. No, so he also, uh, the one that he works what they call uh, front watch. And that schedule is from uh, 5 a.m. in the morning till uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. And then he uh, comes back on watch again at uh, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. They work six-hour uh, watches, shifts, watches. 
And that's the same way with the, with the guys. I'll explain it as I go down the level here. Uh, the next uh, person up in the wheelhouse is called the pilot. He has the captain's license, but uh, he is not the high captain of the boat. Uh, again, right now I'm working with a lot of them that are tripping. They have their own boat that they go to uh, with another company. And so they only come out for the extra money. I went through two, was it two or three this trip? I lose count. Uh, so, but um, they come, they come in, uh, let's see, one, two. I'm sorry, two. I had to think. Uh, they come and they work their uh, watch, which is from 11 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. And then again, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Nice. Uh, the, the next down on the list is the chief engineer. Uh, so uh, He usually sets his own hours. A lot of times uh, they, they work from like 7 o'clock in the morning to, uh, after, to lunchtime. And then they'll uh, get up around 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. And they'll work to like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so usually, uh, depending on where you're at on the river, a lot of times the boat has to pull over at nighttime because of passing traffic. So we sit idle for a while. If there's any uh, minor repairs that need to be done in the engine room, that's when he usually does them. He's also uh, the one you go to if I have any problem uh, or any repairs that need to be done in the galley, like a stopped-up sink, dishwasher issues, stove issues, refrigeration issues, and including my AC which we had some issues quite a bit on this last boat. Uh, uh, the, uh, now, I'm describing to everybody on this boat, and then I'll explain uh, other other boats. The next uh, one is the mate, now, uh, the first mate. He uh, works the opposite watch from the captain. Now, so got to have somebody that's a little bit more in charge on the opposite watch from the captain. So he works from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, he's the one that is in charge of all the deck crew. Uh, so he assigns duties. Uh, him and I will confer if there's an issue. Uh, so if Especially if there's any issues with any of the deckhands, I do not confront the deckhands. No, so I take it to the mate. No, so if the mate uh, cannot get the issue solved, then I go to the captain. It's a rarity. I will go to the captain. I like to try and solve it on the lower deck. No, so but if the issue continues, I usually give the mate at least three tries to get the this taken care of. If they they can't listen to him, then they're going to listen to the captain. No, but okay. So then after the, uh, the mate, then there's uh, the lead man or the relief mate. They um, work the opposite watch as the mate. No, so, and again, their, their schedule is from uh, 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then uh, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Then uh, you, uh, we, on this boat, we had a, a total of four deckhands, two on each watch, so it made a total of three between the mate and two deckhands, and then the uh, next watch was the lead man and the two deckhands. That's, they uh, unfortunately they do the, a lot of the grunt work that's on the boat, no, uh, uh, but. On this boat, we needed uh, three per watch uh, for when it came to, to tow work. Uh, so tow work is getting, uh, when we're loading up barges and unloading barges, or, or I should say, we're getting barges and dropping barges. I can't say loading and uploading, uh, unloading, because that means we're unloading the barge. Uh, so we don't do that. If we get loads, they do that wherever we drop it off. If we get empties, they fill it up wherever we drop it off. 
Um, we this boat here can uh, go up to like uh, 20 barges. Uh, so, uh, it can't really do any more due to the size of the engine. And please don't ask me what size these engines are. I will find out uh, that, that information. I am not mechanically inclined at all. Not one bit. I'll tell you stories later on that one. Anyways, so you got uh, that's a total of six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten on this boat. Now, now this next boat I go on. Now, it's, a, it's a bigger boat. It most likely uh, will have one more person added, and it's called a junior engineer. Now, a, and he works the opposite of the chief engineer, because that boat is bigger. They usually they got to have somebody available uh, in case there's happened to anything with the engines overheating, generators, you name it. They've got to be available. If uh, the junior engineer has a problem of a major issue, uh, then he has to wake up uh, the chief engineer. You usually don't want to wake up the chief engineer. They get a little testy, and they go, oh, can't it wait? No. <laughs> So, and they really don't like to be woken up. They do do hard work back there. Uh, so, and they keep the engine rooms nice and clean. The next boat, I will ask permission if I can take a tour of the engine room. When you see these engine rooms, you'll understand why. Uh, so, these engines are huge. And they are very loud. And when I do the tour of the engine room, I'm going to let you hear how loud it is. Uh, now... As for my schedule, when I get on uh, a boat, I go to bed early. I try to be in bed by 7.30 at the, at the latest. Sometimes it's 8. I get up at 1.30 in the morning. I'm old. I need one to two of these before I get my booty rolling. Now, so before I can even think, before I can even deal with anything, Yes, I will say good morning if somebody says good morning to me, but it's usually going other one. Good morning. They know, don't talk to her. She needs her coffee. We don't want to make the cook mad to start off with. She needs that coffee. And these guys, they usually have my coffee made for me. Sometimes if they're out doing tow work, um, they'll usually have it set up to all I have to do is pour it. Sometimes if they're doing tow work from the get-go, right when they get on watch, they they do forget. No, it's a, and it's all right. I'll stand there in front of that coffee pot, and I'm going, okay, where's that coffee? So I start cooking at 3 o'clock in the morning. I do um, two sheets of pans, two sheet pans of bacon, another sheet pan, half bacon. Uh, then I do sausage links and sausage patties. They Every boat, they love their bacon. I go through about two pounds of bacon every morning. Once I put that in, then I make my biscuits. So I will show you. Which, by the way, got good news. I ordered a tripod that allows me to move the camera up and down. And it also comes with a mic and one of those dead cap muffs. So... We're going to have some fun on the boat now. We'll be able to show you how I make a lot of things. Now, so, and without that phone falling down or bouncing around like it is right now. That's it. I'm supposed to receive it by Tuesday. So we'll find out. Um, anyways, I, I make um, homemade biscuits. And I put two sheets uh, of sheet pans in the oven first. That takes about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes at the most, depending on what the temperature set at. Sometimes the oven gets set at 350, sometimes at 400. If, if it's 400, i got to keep a good close eye on it, or it will burn the bacon. Had that done to me a few times, the guys think it was at 400, and sometimes at 425, I would go, oh, I smell the bacon. <laughs> I open it up, and uh, about three or four pieces on the ends, are quite dark, so I have to get another sheet of uh, bacon out. Uh, so, but 
it is par for the course. Uh, then I uh, make a sausage gravy, and I make everything from scratch, by the way. I am not one of these box cooks, can cooks, bottle cooks. No, so I will only result, resort to do, using that if I have to. No, so, but other than that, I want my flour. I want my baking soda. I want my baking powder. I want my salt. I make a lot of things from scratch. No, so, I mean, just about everything is from scratch. No, so I don't use these instant pizza uh, doughs. Uh, the only time I will use a canned biscuit is if for any reason I have something else I've got planned that's going to take a little bit more time to to uh, make, then I might. But then it's got to be a certain kind of canned biscuit. It's got to be Grand Southern Biscuit. These guys, they do not like that flaky. They don't like any of the others. They want that Southern Biscuit. It rises much bigger. That's the reason why. So I do keep some on hand just for that. But I also make other things out of that canned biscuit, which I will show when I start to do this, these recipes. And it's you wouldn't believe what all you could do with canned biscuits. Nice. All right. But the, there's days that I make donuts. That takes a while. I make uh, cinnamon rolls. Again, that will take a while. Uh, so, some days I'll add... Uh, pancakes, that's easy to do. Waffles, easy to do. French toast. Now, if I'm doing regular French toast, easy to do. If I'm doing French toast sticks, then it's a little bit more preparation because i got to also deep fry them and keep an eye on them. And one thing they all love is my breakfast egg rolls. I call them breakfast burritos because they look like little burritos when you get them done. But, but when they get them, they go, wait a minute, this is done with egg roll wrap, isn't it? Yes. Okay, breakfast egg rolls, whatever. It's looks like a bur deep fried burrito to me. <laughs> so, but they usually love that. Um, I always make eggs to order. Uh, potatoes. I usually will make potatoes if, if I know that they're going to eat them. Some of them don't. Some boats don't, so I won't make potatoes. And usually, I, I put uh, green peppers, onions, and season them up as well. And, and when I go to make those, I'll let you know. About that, too. Excuse me. <coughs> Need some more coffee. Alright. And then, um, breakfast is from 4.30 to 5.30. I get the... They wake up, um... The ones that come in on at 5 o'clock. They wake them up at 4.30. I usually know who, uh, wants what and how. Uh... I may have like one or two that will want eggs. Uh, so usually they just want their biscuits and their gravy along with their uh, meat. Or they want a sausage and bacon uh, biscuit. Because they just want to grab and go because they're too tired. They want to just get their coffee, get out there, drink it real quick because then they got to get on watch. Uh, so, um, and some of these young young boys... They like being on the phone when they're off watch, so they're not getting the sleep that they need. They they want to call their girlfriends or their wives, that's, or even some of them want to talk to their mom. And so, unfortunately, they're not getting the rest that they need, so when they wake up, they're grumpy too. <laughs> I had one of this last watch. You didn't say one word to him. I always said, good morning, grumpy. And so, one morning, he said, you're finally catching on. <laughs> I said, yep, and I'll still tell you, good morning, Grumpy. <laughs> and he says, excuse the language, but he says, oh, you know I'm an asshole. And I says, well, here we go. And you know I'm a bitch. <laughs> so sorry for the language, people, but uh, you got to remember, I work with a bunch of guys. So language on the boat, unfortunately, is uh, loose and free. So, and... A lot of times when I stop and I stutter a little bit because I've got to stop and think what I'm saying on these videos because sometimes I don't have a brain from, I, mean, I don't have a filter from brain to mouth and certain words may come out that may be offensive to others. So I'm trying to keep my videos clean. No, so, and it's also because if, if for any reason my job sees these videos, I got to be more professional. Ah. Uh, I know. 
She, she if you only knew Saucy, when you if you ever meet me in person, uh, or if you see me on Blind Views channel, yeah, you know I got a mouth on me that doesn't quit, <laughs> and I will speak my mind. Does all right. Well, we're getting off subject here. All right. Um, now, after after breakfast, after I clean up for breakfast. Uh, then I usually do my baking. Nice. And on this last boat, I was baking every day. Every day. Usually there are some desserts left over. Uh, so there's some cookies left over. No, not on this boat. That's when I started increasing it to 102 cookies. Well, it lasted instead of just a watch and a half. It, it, that one lasted till the next morning, I guess. But still, I had to increase my cookies. Now, so cakes, <laughs> cupcakes, oh gosh, uh, that might last till the next day. But when it gets really low, you got to make some more. Now, so these guys, they want what, we, what I call gag desserts. Grab and go. Now, so grab, cupcake, go. If I make a cake, then I plate it up separately. If I make brownies, then I cut it up and then I, I saran wrap it for them. Uh, and trust me, none of this was lasting more than two watches. By the end of supper, there's there's no uh, there's no desserts. That's uh, so what I'm going. Oh my God, they're keeping me busy baking. <laughs> so, and some boats are that way. Then there's some boats. The guys are are on a health kick, so they're not touching the the baked goods. So there might be some boats that I'll be on. You won't see me make too many desserts. The only ones I will make. The desserts for it is like the captain, the pilot, and the chief. Uh, so, but they only eat it after either lunch or supper. Uh, so, but I have fun to make, uh, coming up with all the different uh, desserts. Uh, so, um, then uh, I will um, usually take about a half hour to uh, 45 minute break to get a little bit more of this. Uh, so, and then I'll come back into the galley. And I will start prepping lunch. And it also depends on what I'm uh, making for supper. I may be also prepping uh, some side things for supper, too. Uh, again, it all depends on what I'm making of when I start doing my what I call my crunch time. Getting everything uh, started cooking. Getting everything um, to where everything will come up at the same time. And that's usually around 9 o'clock because I have to have it done by 10.30. No, so I, I only use two burners of the six burner stove due to the fact because I've got to put lay sheet pans down on the other because as I cook something they got to stay warm somewhere I don't have a uh, on this last boat I don't have a steam table God but the last boat I was on prior to this one had a steam table I didn't have to start so early because as I cooked I could put it in the steam table and I have more burners going so it was so much easier. Uh, so, but I'm I'm not spoiled uh, by much. I want my steam table. Uh, so, okay, well, let's get off that too. Uh, I'm working for a different company right now. <laughs> All right. Um, then after lunch, once lunch is over, I make sure that I have everything I need for supper uh, to be ready. I go lay down and I take about an hour nap. Uh, so it can. I, I go lay down at noon, but I have so much coffee in me, it takes me 30 minutes to get to sleep. So that's why I say an hour nap, because then I'm up at 1.30. Then, of course, you know, i got to wake up. <laughs> so I wake up, I, I go sit down, and I get my caffeinated drink. Uh, so for 30 minutes, then I'll start supper at 2 o'clock. I have it ready by 4.30. <coughs> Excuse me. I have it ready by 4.30, and uh, once supper's done by uh, 5.30, I clean up. I clean my galley really good. Now, I have rules for my galley. My galley rules are this. During the day, from 3 o'clock to 6 p.m., I will wipe down the counters. I will wipe down my refrigerators. I will uh, wipe, wipe everything down as possible. I do not want any chemicals sprayed on my counters or anything of that sort because I may have food laying out I'm uh, I may have dough rising 
I'm or something of the sort. I don't need them coming in spraying the uh, the countertops or spraying all the refrigerators and all that spray is in the air and it's headed to the um to the food. So I tell the guys, the only thing you need to do in the galley, sweep, mop, and take care of the trash during the day. After six, I even put away my own dishes from the dishwasher. There's a lot of boats and a lot of cooks. They expect a lot from these guys. They do work hard. So, I'd give them a break by uh, just only do sweep, mop, and... Um, and usually they don't have to do that much because I keep my floors pretty clean. If I make a mess, I grab the, the broom and dustpan and clean it up. If I do a spillage, I grab the mop, I mop it up. I like my floors clean. I don't want to slip and fall and kill myself. Oh, God, no. We don't want to. And plus, we don't want to see that. Don't You don't even want that in your head. And, uh, and I don't have chickens and dogs to keep, come around me and keep me company. Right, old farmer's wife? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't get me laughing. <laughs> All right. Huh. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, my second rule is, now, I started the dishwasher for after supper. They are to put it away. If they do not know where something goes, put it on the counter. I'll put it away. Now, I also clean out my sink. And I clean out uh, the, the dish drainer. Both of those are empty. If they are to come in to eat during the time I'm off watch from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m., they are to clean up their mess, wash their dish, or rinse it out really good, put it in the dish drainer if the dishwasher is busy. If the dishwasher is not busy, then put it in the dishwasher. Now, I... I do sometimes have people think, I'm their mom, I'm their wife, I'm their girlfriend, I'm their aunt, their sister, whoever, that constantly picks up after them. No, that's a big no with me. I'm there to do my job, which is to provide meals, not be their maid. I Yes, they treat me like mom. I may treat them like they're my boys. No, so, but I'm... <laughs> My kids, I made them clean up. No, so I no, no these these kids, I make them clean up. No, so I'll go grab them if if they're on watch. I'll go grab them. Say uh, dishes in the sink. That's all I gotta say. No, so they don't get to it. Usually, that's during when the mate's on. He gets upset. No, it's a, and he gets upset because he doesn't I'm not sure who does it and a lot of them say oh, I didn't do it I didn't do it I don't care it needs to be cleaned get it get it out of there I don't have time to be cleaning up after them my schedule is busy enough no, it's a, all right all right um, in, in re reference to my ref uh, recipes I have this program it's called my cookbook pro no, so I have added some, uh, quite a few of my own recipes, but I also get recipes off the internet just by two clicks. I go up to the top, up to the right, click on share, and share it to my cookbook pro. It brings it all over and sets it up. All I have to do is put it in the category. I have over 600 recipes, uh, and I, uh, I always ask people, what do you want me to make? I will make it. If I have all the ingredients, I will make it. I am not afraid to look up. And then I also take this, uh, quite a few of these recipes and make them my own. I will add an ingredient or I will exchange an ingredient, um, one or two ingredients, or I'll prepare it a, a different way. No, so, But it's very similar and so forth. I, I like to try and make all the recipes my own. Now, so I, now there's certain recipes I do copycats. Uh, the boys, they love Cheddar Bay Biscuits, and those are the ones that's from Red Lobster. I know how to make those. They love them. Now, so usually I do it on Chicken Day and Fish Day. Now, so, okay, now scheduling and what, why, what I decide what my menu is. Tuesdays. One of the meals has to be what we call Taco Tuesday. It's Mexican food day. 
We tacos is a, is the main thing, but then I usually add something. I may add enchiladas, uh, quesadillas, or um, I- any other Mexican food. Right off the top of my head, I can't even think. I don't think I've had enough coffee, so hold on. More. Anyways, so uh, and then uh, Fridays uh, at lunchtime is usually uh, fish day. It's usually fried catfish. I usually do fried cod. If I have some um, canned salmon, I'll make salmon patties. Uh, and then if I have other fish, like um, baking cod, uh, there's some people want to bake uh, catfish. Uh, I've done flounder, uh, halibut. Uh, I've done it all. Now, so I also make homemade hush puppies. Um, usually, uh, I will do a potato with it, uh, in one vegetable. Now, so for the people that want a vegetable. And then, of course, on the side, on the, on the cold side, there's always coleslaw. There's always, uh, some type of, uh, salad, whether it be a pasta salad or something. There's usually fruit, if I got fruit available. Now, so, I provide a, a full course meal. On, uh... On Friday night, I usually do. I if I have the capability uh, and have all the ingredients, I will do gumbo and I do it from scratch. Trust me, that's a no nap day because that takes a while to cook. It takes a minimum of three and a half hours to get everything done and cook. That roux, this one arm here, is getting really strong making roux. Now, so you got to keep stirring, stirring. You got to get it that certain color. Now, so, and certain consistency. Now, so, and anybody that doesn't, they, people say, well, they have jar roux. Ah, again, I'm a scratch cook. I do things from scratch. Now, so, I won't do from a box. Now, so, I, I can't. My aunt taught me how to uh, make uh, gumbo when I was down in Louisiana with her. And she taught me how to make etouffee, all that. All, all that Cajun food. She taught me how to do it all from scratch. And I do it all from scratch. Oh, by the way, except for one thing. And you don't know how many times I've tried. I've tried. I, you could suggest every which way. I bet you I've tried. There's one thing I can't cook for raw. I am a minute rice girl. <laughs> I can't cook rice without it turning to mush. So that's the only thing that you're going to see me use a box of. <laughs> I can try. I've done it every which way. I've rinsed them. I've, I've done add oil to them. I've done every which way. I've even used a rice cooker. Okay, I've got a rice cooker even here. Uh, so. And it still turns out to be like mush. Why can't I get it to be flaky rice? We can't figure it out. And when I was doing my training for this, no, they they did it side by side with me. They can't figure it out because we all did the same exact thing. Yep, mine turned to mush. <laughs> okay, let's get off this rice kick. All right, so I apologize. I'm not... Like I said, only if I need to use box goods, I will. Well, that one I need to use. So I'm a minute rice cooker. No, so that's what you're going to get. You want me to do raw rice? Be prepared. Ain't going to be mush, lumpy, everything. I'm sorry. Here we go. Anyways, um, so now on Saturdays, let's get back to the schedule. On Saturdays is what we call steak and burger day. Now, so, um, if you have a steak at lunch, at supper, you'll have your burgers, hot dogs, bratwurst. If you have your uh, steak for supper, then at lunch you'll have burgers, hot dogs, and bratwurst. Uh, I never make a vegetable for that day, due to the fact I'll make french fries and onion rings to go with the fries of uh, the burgers, hot dogs, and bratwurst. Uh, usually the steak people want a baked potato or a baked sweet potato or they want french fries. Because with the steaks that we get on board, you see them, they're big. Uh, so, and these guys, they're not, 
a lot of them aren't that big of eaters. So, and sometimes uh, these captains, they're trying to watch their weight because they're not really moving around. So they're gaining weight from eating so much. So they got to watch their weight for Coast Guard rules. No, so, so uh, Saturdays, Saturday mornings is when I do all the prep uh, for, uh, I marinate, the, I usually marinate the steaks Friday night. I make uh, like about 16 hamburgers, and I make eight at a time for each each watch. Um, I I get the bratwurst, I get the hot dogs, I cut up the onions, lettuce, and tomato. I usually have coleslaw for those that do want that. Now, uh, I don't have big salad eaters. Now, the ones that have steaks, sometimes they will want a salad. I will make individual salads for them. I'll ask them, this is the side things that we have, like broccoli, uh, cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. What do you want on your salad? I will make it for you. Because if I make a big salad, unfortunately, these guys aren't salad eaters. Now, pasta salad, coleslaw, oh yeah, they'll eat a lot of that. Not so, But, uh, so... If you want a steak, you uh, you want a salad with your steak, that's when I'll do the individual salads. If they want it any other time, they just let me know in advance. Hey, I like to have a salad with my meal time because I tell everybody what we're having. I like to have a salad with my meal. I have a, a, a written out list. If you ever want a salad, tell me what you want on it. And I will put everything on it and wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator for when you come down that way it doesn't spoil because sometimes it get even with the AC that galley gets awfully warm and the lettuce gets wilted all right um, that, now that covers Saturday on Sunday no it is chicken day uh, now during the summertime uh, they don't usually like a lot of fried chicken uh, due to the fact because it's heavy and they they want something a little bit lighter uh, because they're working out in the heat. So for the people that do want fried chicken, I'll do ch chicken wings. And I'll cut up the breasts, slice them up, and make homemade chicken tenders. Those usually get fried somehow, some way. I'm, I'll season them up different ways. And then I'll either bake the chicken. I have, I have my own uh, uh, rubs for baked chicken uh, that I do. Or I'll do something like jerk chicken, which does baked, and um, which I do have a video. Uh, so go back and check it out. It says, you're such a jerk <laughs> video. And it's my jerk chicken, uh, and that was gone real fast. And that was a lot of chicken. And I usually do the uh, thighs and legs on that. Um, but and then I usually do like mashed potatoes or garlic uh, potato wedges. Or, uh, which is in the oven. And, of course, fried green beans, uh, fried sweet corn. Oh, I got to show you those recipes. Oh, you'll love those. Nice. Um, I usually have gravy if I got the mashed potatoes. Nice. Uh, but, again, it all depends. And, and sometimes I usually have corn on the cob instead of the fried. Um, and, of course, I'll do... Um, cheese biscuits. No, so because make it feel like you're at Kentucky Fried Chicken, but it's going to be cheese biscuits instead of regular biscuits. No, so that's our. Those are a follow through um, days that I have to have th those menus. Now the other days: Monday, Tuesday night, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, um, Friday night. Like I said, is I try and keep with. Uh, usually do a Cajun dish. Uh, so, but those other days, I'll do like pork chops. Uh, I'll do a pork day because we don't have pork on those other days. Uh, so, but that's how my schedule is there. Anyways, um, now, uh, if anybody wants to know any of my recipes, please... Email me, because that way I can give you a printable copy. It's hard to copy and paste, keep you from going back and forth to the video and looking in the description. Uh, so email me. Um, you can uh, uh, go to my mess, uh, my Facebook uh, so, uh, link. Uh, I, I'm not much on Instagram 
or tw or Twitter that much. So I, I'm, I'm too busy. I don't have time to be doing all these social networks. So um, I, you could uh, mess find me on uh, Facebook and then send me a message. Or I uh, invite you to my uh, Facebook page, Saucy the uh, the Traveling Towboat Chef. Find me that way. I'll uh, 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 and then click to join, and we can discuss things there. But give me time because when I'm out on the river, it's it's not every day that I've got service. Now I'm going to be up on the Illinois River this uh, next time, and it is worse service than it was in the Upper Mississippi. So bear with me on videos and bear with me on answering any questions and so forth. I am going to do, tomorrow when I get my uh, new tripod and all this, I'm going to be testing it out. So I'm going to do a little tour of the little town I live in and see how that works with the muff and everything else. And we'll go and see how that does. If it gets rid of all that loud noise from them building, rebuilding patties with all that pounding and the trucks coming by then it it should work good on the boat. But I can't think of any of the other questions that need to be answered. Oh, yes, one. What are my go-to seasonings? Now, so here we go. It all depends on what I'm making now. Now, but a lot of time, a lot of them get garlic powder or the granulated garlic, the granulated onion, salt, uh, pepper. Now, the salt can be either the seasoned salt the sea salt, or kosher salt, or regular table salt. I don't use a lot of it due to the fact, unfortunately, a lot of us on the boat have high blood pressure that we take medicine for. You don't want to be doing salt. Let's see. Um, I, now, of course, now for, for spices, Tony's. And, uh, so slap your mama. And trust me, these boys like that slap your mama. No, so, um, again, it all depends on what I'm making. I use chili powder, cumin, uh, oregano. Um, I make my own taco seasonings. No, so uh, my own, my own, my own seasonings when it comes to Mexican food. So it all depends on what it is. But my go-to is you never gonna have enough garlic. You can never have enough onion flavor. You can never have enough salt and pepper. And just not too much salt. Like I said, not too much salt. I do not use garlic salt. No, you got enough salt and everything else. No, so, but um, that's usually my go-to. Now for morning, uh, there's this little secret that I use for my gravy. It's, it's Tony's. It's seasoned salt. And it's uh, pepper, but I haven't told you the, the other secret ingredient. When I go to make my uh, uh, sausage gravy, I will show you what it is. Now, I also, I'm one of those cooks, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The only thing I am accurate on with measuring cups and measuring spoons is when I do my bacon. Other than that, when I go to show you other recipes, I will try and estimate for you of what, how, how many cups, how many tablespoons, teaspoons, whatever it is, and, and say, or just how many shakes, and so forth. So, bear with me on that. <laughs> I've been doing that for a long time. It's going to be hard to stop, think, okay, i got some cooks out there that, that need those measurements. So, just bear with me. We'll work together. Uh, so, all right, people. This uh, video is going 45 minutes. Oh, my God. All right. This is a long one. I hope you all do, do a, have a good day. And w I'll see you in the next video. All right? Cheers. My coffee's gotten cold. But it's still good. Goodbye. Have a great day.